What is going on, guys? In this video, I would like to do a brief comparison between the NVIDIA Game Ready Driver versus the latest Studio Driver release. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up DaVinci Resolve 17 Beta here, and I have already created a project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and render this video out, see how long it takes, and then I am going to go ahead and do the exact same export using the Studio Driver. So I'm going to do a 4K output, and uh, I'm going to do a custom, and H.264 is my codec, and I'm going to switch to the NVIDIA encoder, 30 frames per second, and I'm going to restrict to um, 40,000 KBS. And I'm going to hit Add to Render Queue. And we're just going to save that there. And let's go ahead and render all and see how long this takes. Okay, so it completed in 3 minutes and 49 seconds. Now let's go ahead and exit out of here. And let's install the new driver. And let's see if we get any difference. All right, now that the new driver is installed, let's fire Resolve back up again. All right, let's load back into the same edit. Make sure all the settings are the same. Custom. We're going to set the encoder again to NVIDIA. 30 frames a second. I'm going to restrict to 40,000. Add a render queue. Hit save. And let's see if we get this done a little faster. Okay, this rendered in 3 minutes 49 seconds, so no better. Now, the difference between the studio version and the Game Ready Driver, the Game Ready Driver focuses more on uh, making sure games run as best as they can. Um, I won't go into tons of detail. I will leave a link in the description below that describes the difference between the two, and the studio version focuses on stability uh, for using creative apps like Adobe um, Apps and DaVinci Resolve. So I didn't expect to see a huge difference in the actual render, but I'm wondering if... Um, the effects and scrubbing through the timeline may operate a little faster. But right now I haven't seen any difference between the two drivers. I'm going to go ahead and keep mine as the studio version just because I use more creative apps than I play video games. But again, if you're somebody that's a gamer, definitely go with the latest game-ready driver from NVIDIA. Well, I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Take care.